Annotations are a way to add information to your code and have this information readable and accessible to code so that you can later on act with that information. In this example, we have a very simple school class which only has one property, which is total students. And we want to make sure that total students is always an integer. And later on, we'll also want to make sure that it's below the total capacity of the school. If you look in the comments here, you will see this add sign followed by assert int. Assert is the namespace that I imported at the beginning of this file. And int means I want to assert that this property is always an integer. I already have two validators, int, which will validate that whatever value it's given is actually an integer, and max, which will validate that whatever value it's given is always below the max. Now we want to make an annotation-based validator that will use those an annotations and validate our property here. Since annotations are not part of the PHP language directly, we have to use a library for that. In our case, we're using Doctrine Annotations, which we'll um, import in our project for Composer. So Composer require Doctrine Annotations. Once it's loaded, we can now go create our annotations. So it's already here in the file where I want it. But this needs to be a class that can be instantiated by the Doctrine Annotation Reader. I have my namespace here. We've already used two files for annotations, but they're completely empty right now. So I want this int annotation to return me the proper validator for the value. So I'll add a method that returns that int validator to me. Validator, and we'll just return validation int. It's very simple here because this doesn't need to be instantiated with any specific data. It'll be a little bit different once we start working on the max validator. To let the doctrine reader know that this is an annotation class, we will annotate it with an annotation annotation. That's it. While we write it, we're also going to make use of the target annotation and we'll set it to sorry property this means that our annotation is only available to class properties so here it's on a property but annotations could also be on the class itself or on a class method in our case we restrict it to be used only on properties we can now create our annotation based validator that will read the annotations of an object and for each annotation on the properties try to validate that property. We already have the skeleton of this class and the first thing we need to do is create an annotation reader and before we can do that we need to let Doctrine know where are our annotation classes and which ones can be loaded and which ones can't and we'll register an auto loader for that with the annotation registry register loader and we'll pass it a function that will receive a class name and we'll return class exists name and the second argument of true will auto load it if it's not loaded yet once this is done, we can set our reader new annotation reader. Now, when given an object to validate, we can use uh, its reflection properties to iterate through all of the properties of the object, read its annotations, and try to validate. So we'll first get the reflection class of the object. reflection class of my object and then for each properties we'll read the annotations first so
and I access them through the reader. So this is reader get property annotations annotations of my reflection property. So now for each of the annotations on my property, I need to make to get the validator and validate the value of the property. So for each sorry annotations I will want to get the validator so um, and then validate the value of my property So I access the value of the property through its reflection property, which makes it look a little bit weird, but it all works like this. And if it's already not valid, so if, then I can return false directly. And if nothing ever happened, if I didn't return until here, then I am valid. It looks a little bit complicated with these two for each loops implicated one in the other, but the first, it's very easy to remember. The first one loops for all the properties of my class, of my object, and the second one for each of these properties goes find all the annotations and try to validate the property based on the annotations that we got. So we can now go back to our test and enable the annotation test that I had already pre-written. And if everything works fine, we'll see them getting executed and passing. Great, everything is working. Now we can go back to our school class and we want to add a new um, annotation to make sure that the number of students is always at a maximum of the capacity defined for that school. So that will be cert max and here we can directly use the class constant. So we can write school capacity just like this and the um, annotation reader will figure out that this is actually the capacity that we have defined as a class constant here. This time we already have our annotation validator class defined so the work will be much easier. All we have to do is define our max annotation and make sure it returns the proper validator. We'll directly add that it's an annotation and we'll also set the target to be property. Uh, sorry, that should be all caps. Property. In this case, our um, class can take a constructor parameter because we set here that it's going to be a max of the school capacity. And we receive all of these constructor parameters as an array from the doctrine reader. So we receive an array of values and then we'll set that this max is values value. If you don't set any name on them directly inside of the annotation, then Doctrine will give them to you under the value index. Once this is in place, it's very easy to add our validator method, which will return a new validator max of this max. To test that this is all working, we're going to go back to our test suite and we'll add a test to make sure that when the number of students is below 100, everything is fine. So we'll have validator is valid new school 99 and this will pass and this one should be false. We'll do assert false is valid 
and this time I'll set a score with a thousand students. And if we run our tests again, everything is passing with our new max annotation added to our school class. Thanks for watching.